Hey guys, it's Melon or Melon B from Facebook Melon Shop. I'm here to do my January update video for my 2014 practicals. If you want to see the original video, um, check it out. It's on my on my YouTube channel, and or I may also post it down below. But mainly, uh, what the video was about is uh, for this new year, since the year just started, I had a number of goals I wanted to accomplish either by the end of the year <laughs> and also had some uh, monthly goals I wanted to do so every month I will be making a video of course at the end of the month <laughs> to kind of give you guys an update if I had completed the, the projects I wanted to and to give you guys any other updates on um, the ongoing projects that I will be completing hopefully by the end of the year. I do have a list here of all the things um, I listed in the video, at least I think it's most of, the, most of them, so I'll probably just give you an update on those and show you my finished objects or projects um, as I go down the list. Uh, the first one I have here is I wanted to expand and update my shops. As you guys know, I do have two shops. Uh, one is for amigurumi and pillows and stuff. Uh, Malambi at Etsy.com and the other one is for yarn, um, usually yarn that I dye myself, uh, Malon Shop at Etsy.com. Unfortunately, I have not updated with anything new at the moment. Um, I think what I've been doing so far, and it's only for the Amigurumi one, um, I've been just kind of relisting the, the items that have expired, uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, fortunately, I just have not made time to really sit down and um, you know have some time for myself to take pictures or post up things because I do have stuff to post up but I'm just again I'm just kind of lazy in actually setting the time apart to post the pictures or take the pictures edit and then post up um, you know the, the listing so I still have to work on that uh, the next one is my YouTube channel and making video tutorials I actually have made a couple this month which um, I don't know, you guys tell me, uh, what do you think about them, how did they turn out? I made one uh, very recently, I think I posted yesterday about the the dryer, the dryer, uh, felted dryer balls. Um, again, if you guys want to go check it out, definitely do. Uh, and the other one I posted earlier, I think it was actually maybe three or four of them, just different steps uh, of the process on how to work with Tunisian crochet uh, with a simple stitch or afghan stitch. Again, if you guys, uh, for those of you who have seen it, what do you think? If you have any suggestions, um, definitely let me know. Um, I am looking to, to do more of those. Um, right now, the only one I have in mind or that comes to mind is the one for the Piranha Garland. Um, again, those of you guys who are watching my Castle Crew videos, um, you should know what that's about. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to it maybe by this weekend and have it up sometime next week. And I also want to do one for the Mini Mushrooms. Um, they're up there if you guys can spot them and if you guys uh, have done my last um, my last subscriber giveaway uh, those were related so <laughs> you know maybe I'm gonna do one on, on those as well but yes I have made a couple of tutorials uh, which I'm pretty excited about that I actually uh, made some um, hopefully they were okay for you guys again any comments are definitely um, I'm looking forward to them the next one is my blog. I have made a couple of blog posts, um, again, usually related relating to my videos. Uh, what I've been trying to do, and I don't know if it's a good tactic or way to post things up, but um, of course I would post some of the video I just did and write a little bit about it, and maybe add some tidbits of information I either forgot or didn't mention in my video. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys do check out my blog. Um, it's not that active right now. I don't have that many posts. I think I have maybe 18 or so. And um, yeah, but in the future, I've, uh, I'm thinking about especially, uh, for example, I just mentioned a Piranha Garland. Uh, I will be posting up the pattern for that. And apart from Ravelry, I also will be having a pattern on my blog. So I think that's also a, a great way to kind of connect both. But I have been making uh, updates more recently on that, so that's a plus. Now, my one large project a month, that was one of the main things I wanted to do. One large project, um, I told myself anything bigger than a pair of socks. And for me, this month was my shawl. And if you guys have seen my last cast of crew videos, I have shown this quite, so quite, quite a lot. Um, but this is my completed one for the month, my big project. The shawl looks like this. 
And if you guys want more information about a pattern, it is a free pattern, um, I believe from Lion Brand. Um, it's probably one of my my past uh, Castle Crew videos, uh, but you can definitely find it on Ravelry, um, and I'm pretty sure it is by Lion Brand, so it is a free pattern. Uh, the next one would be, uh, let's see, uh, making two sweaters by the end of the year. I have uh, begun to browse sweater patterns. Um, I do have a, quite a large library, and I have begun to browse uh, what sweaters I would like to make. Um, ideally, I would make one for myself and one for my husband. So I think I picked out one for myself um, that I think I'm going to, to begin on, but I just have not started yet. And kind of connecting with my library, um, one of my other goals was to make something, um, and you know, a, a project from my library, either from my books or my magazines and stuff. And I did. I made a pair of wrist warmers, and these actually I featured on my last Casa Crew video, number 47. If you guys want to check it out, they look like this. And I commented on how the yarn uh, kind of is, you know, does not look the same, the same on both and the way that I ended up. But if you guys want to check out, check it out. It's my number 47 Casa Crew video. And these, I use a pattern from this book. Again, I do show this um, on that video, Head to Toe Knits. So that is my one project from my library. Uh, the next one is, let's see. Uh, I wanted to make two projects uh, with either uh, new, uh, new stitches or stitches that I don't really use that often. And sorry, let me just fix the camera here. And I actually did, and these are fairly, fairly recent, so they will be appearing on my last, I'm sorry, my next uh, Casa Crew video. Um, I have not shown these yet, but let me just show it to you without putting on. It's also a pair of wrist warmers, and they're using a shell stitch, which I don't I don't use very often. They are crocheted, and that, that will be one of the projects with a, you know, a different stitch I don't really use that often. Um, the fan stitch or, or shell stitch, I forgot which one it was, but these ones are also um, free. I found them via Ravelry. Uh, I think I got them from a blog or something, but uh, I will feature them in my next Casa Crew video, and I will definitely link them down below. Sorry, my camera just keeps... Okay. But yes, these are one of my projects of those, and my second project, and you guys will kind of laugh, but I'm still kind of counting that in. <laughs> I don't know if it's fair or not. I was thinking of putting like a little pico edging on the bottom because I don't really use that edging at all. But I kind of liked how it is here. I didn't want anything, you know, anything more fancy than that. Uh, I did make the little bows here. The bows were not in the pattern. I made the bows with um, half double stitch, no, with, uh, with half double crochet stitch. Yeah, I think that's what it is, half double. Hopefully I'm right. Uh, but yeah, the little bows are made with that. So I kind of, that is my second project. What do you guys think? I actually really like them and they did end up a little longer than I expected, even though I did not make them as long uh, as the pattern calls for. But I really do like them. And one other thing I did not do is, um, I did not add more to the thumb. Cause I think in a project, I'm sorry, in the in the pattern, uh, they add a couple more rows to the thumb. But I'll, since I'll be featuring that on my next one, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you about, about, uh, about that then. Uh, but those are my two projects uh, with stitches I don't really use or to, to learn new stitches. Uh, let me see. The next one is dyeing yarn. I have not dyed any yarn, unfortunately. As I mentioned, you guys, I have not posted up anything new in my Etsy shops. Um, I have not had a chance to dye any yarn except for the yarn balls. Uh, if you guys have seen, again, my last tutorial or my last Casa Crew video, I do show these there as well, the yarn balls. Um, I worked on these this month and I did dye five mini skeins for these. Uh, that is all the dyeing I got. I got completed. But again, for next month, I do plan to, to dye some more. And the last one I believe is uh, using up my stash. Um, I'm kind of pleased to say that all the items I made this week or this month um, have been using 
I uh, using stash yarn. So uh, not to say I didn't purchase yarn because I have, which is <laughs> which is not the greatest, but um, I have been using my stash yarn for all of them. So I'm pretty proud of that. Um, I'm working it down and that's ideal. <laughs> um, and oh, one of the last ones that I think this one I forgot to mention in my video as well was to keep my Ravelry updated. If you guys want to check me out, I am on Ravelry. Um, my name is Malon B, of course. Um, I updated some, but not everything is totally updated yet. Uh, but again, for next month, I plan to have that. And, you know, as soon as I complete a project, um, I do want to have it up there as well. I, I do find it pretty inspiring also um, just to see the projects people make with whatever pattern you're looking for or you're working on. But anyway, I think I did pretty well this month. I got most of the things I wanted, I wanted to do accomplished. Well, that's all you guys. Hopefully next month goes just as well or, or be even better. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.